You want to start gardening this summer or you want to preserve your springtime plants, what are the best ways to keep them alive and thriving this season? After a busy spring for plant nurseries in the area, they want to help you continue taking good care of them. Our Destiny Richards is live at Vicki's Garden Center in Spokane with popular summer plants and how we can keep them alive. Yes, I'm here with Vicki Lima again. You were showing me these beautiful plants here. These are good summer plants. Absolutely. These are geraniums right here. And we've got many different colors available, many different types, ivy zonal, seed geraniums, and calliope geraniums. Right, and what's what does zonal ger geraniums mean? That is a geranium that's derived from a cutting versus a seed. And so okay. it's been a proven vegetative plant. Mm -hmm. um, and then some of the plants have different zoning on their leaf color. Mm -hmm. um, there will be a darker ring around the plant that kind of zones them. Okay. And so that's kind of what zonal is, is on a geranium. All right, nice. And uh, we were talking earlier about how summertime bugs, you kind of want to keep them away yes, from these plants. Absolutely. So so your, your, the bugs that are out right now are thrip and aphid primarily, mm -hmm. and thrip will get into your blossoms, and so if mm -hmm. you're having trouble with your plants and they're not opening up, most likely you have a thrip problem. Usually mm -hmm. I'll take my phone, open it up to the glass, tap the little uh, blossom mm -hmm. on my phone and I can see the critters running around. Then I want to get a neem oil or an insecticidal soap mm -hmm. and take care of those pests. There's many other pests. Um, usually for aphid, a soapy water mix is really good for for those. Mm -hmm. If you've got slugs or soft body animals or critters that are bothering your plants, mm -hmm. uh, diametinaceous earth or seashells, crushed seashells, will take mm -hmm. care of that right away. All right, nice. And um, where could someone get like neem oil and uh, insectoidal soap? Usually we have an array of different products here, but your local hardware store is the best bet. Mm -hmm. Make sure you read your labels, make sure that you're putting the right product on your plants. Um, and then fertilizer is very important this time of year as well. Mm -hmm. What we use in the greenhouses, we have, um, look for that pink lid. Mm -hmm. This is Osmocote. It's a timed release fertilizer. So you put that on now and it releases throughout the summer. Usually by fall, your plants are done, your fertilizer is out no worries it's easy fast okay. and easy and is this for potted and plants that are in it the ground it is we have okay. one for annuals um, bedding plant material and then we have one for vegetables and right now is a good time to also be feeding your vegetables your tomatoes might start to look yellow your peppers they need that extra boost mm -hmm. come on in get some of that osmocote throw it on there and in a week you'll see improvement all right nice when we come back at six o'clock we'll share some more tips for you to keep your summer plants going and even those spring plants reporting live at vicky's garden center Destiny Richards for News Now.